NATO can, Ukraine can be part of it. He knows that. Because Ukraine is the one starting. So uh, after much prayer, 21 days after the past, we need to talk in truth. After my talks with President Biden, February 2nd, February 14th, Putin did a hunger strike. Last Sunday we had thousands of people in Washington, D.C. Before Sunday we had so many people in New York in front of the Russian embassy. Today we decided very shortly yesterday and we announced and I want to thank all of you for coming in such a short notice because it's media who is doing a good job. So I am now calling upon, it's too little too late, but President Biden is doing a great job uniting NATO. But that's not enough because people of Ukraine are dying. I've been there since 1991. They are fighters, they are defending, and USSR was the Soviet Union, I've been there first in 1991, January, 91 they divided, and still when Putin invaded Georgia a little bit, Ukraine in 2014, America should have taken more responsibility in NATO, but it's never too late. So my demands have been, if you are following my Facebook every day, millions of people are following and crying and crying. Enough is enough. Declare United Nations must do, declare in NATO, and remove Russia from the permanent membership. They can do that. Isolate Russia 100%. Don't do business with Russia anymore. Close down every consulate and embassy in 200 countries. Expel their staff. Take stand, otherwise it's coming to you, not just to NATO countries, it's coming to America. What I said, read to the Chief Justice of India, Chief Justice of US, Chief Justice of International Criminal, on January 30th, please stop this war. How could they ignore it. I have personally spoken to the Supreme Court justices. I beg them. I, because they have no right to invade Ukraine. And Supreme Court justices can declare and send notices to the Russian embassy. Why are you doing it? They have not sent. Now, after I did a hunger strike since February 1st, 2nd, Washington, D.C., then in New York, now they are taking seriously, but I want to thank everybody to un uh, who are understanding. Most important thing, I want to thank you for praying. Thank you for uniting Republicans and Democrats. I've spoken to John Thune. I've spoken to Ted Cruz. I've spoken to Lindsey Graham. I've spoken to Nancy Pelosi. So many Democrats. This is not the time for scoring political points. We spent $8 trillion for unnecessary Afghanistan and Iraq war. At least give $1 out of $1,000 you spent. Send $8 billion humanitarian aid to Ukraine. Stand with Ukraine. You are standing with God. You are standing for justice. You are standing for peace. You are standing for people all over the world. Otherwise, God's judgment will come upon us. I've been living in... Since I preached in 1989, Lakewood Church, Joel Austin, 1990, Second Baptist Church, Dr. Edia. You people are praying, and I want to thank John Morgan, Sage Band Baptist Church, all the pastors who are standing. Thank you. Thank you. People of God, thank you. This is God's one. This is David versus Goliath. Indian Prime Minister must stop this war by talking to Putin and said, we're not with you. We are with Ukraine. We are for peace. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Thank you.